back, everybody, to another episode of Command Center, where we like to put our favorite commander, maybe even yours, front and center. And you know we can't do that unless we play those three magnificent letters, E-D-H. What does it stand for today, I don't Ken? It's a sad day. It stands for Eyesores Destroying Hype. You know what? A new set came out called Commander Legends, and there was some great gangbusters that came out. But also, uh, it's a lot of cars that failed us. It failed this city. It failed it very hard. But before we go down <laughs> that rabbit hole, we need to give a shout out. That's right. Whenever another person decides to join the Patreon and help and support us, we want to shout them out and also shout out their favorite commander. So who are we shouting out today? Today we are shouting out the artist formerly known as Shaded. Oh, Shaded. Shaded. Is, I, is, is it one name? Just one name. Oh, okay. Cool. I, I, like, I, I like, feel it. Like Madonna. Or, or, or Prince. Or Britney. Or... Willie Ayankovic. I know that's multiple words. I just felt like saying it. I'm pretty sure there's hyphens in it. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. So, Shaded's favorite commander that they wanted us to talk about today was a Rick Smithy's Slumbering Isle. You know what? I got respect, Shade. Because check this out. First of all, this is too exemic. But the reason why I respect this commander is, first, it is a land. Yeah. It is a land commander. It's it's, it's a land. And it's also a kraken. They released the Kraken all day. I'm talking about, <laughs> you know, Clash of the Titans. Not that new one with that. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. talking about the old school one, the yeah. 80s version, the the new one. Anyway, so a Rick uh like you said, is it is a is a land. If Rick Smithies, the Isle enters the battlefield tapped with five slumber counters on it. As long as Rick Smithies has slumber counters on it, it's a land. When you cast a, whenever you cast a spell, you may remove a slumber counter from a Rick Smithies. But as long as, and it can also tap for a blue and a green. And it's a 12-12. So this, this thing has a lot going for itself. It's definitely scary. Puts players on a clock. I've never been up against this card, and I definitely don't want to be. I have, and I've seen cards like Thing in the Ice and a bunch of other cards that come associated with this. So it can get out of hand real quick. That's why I respect this card. Okay, okay. So again, we want to give a big ups and thank you to Shade It. And we're going to move into our topic for today which is trash cards garbage you know what i would wipe my butt with these cards but i'm afraid of the paper cut <laughs> so specifically we're talking about those commander legend cards that just just didn't speak to us we feel like just kind of missed the mark and specifically the new cards right yeah of okay course. so i think that our first couple we we probably share these opinions so okay. let's, let's go ahead and get them out of the way so they just released two partner planeswalkers and the last time they did a uh, partner planeswalker, it was actually the twins, the Scion twins, yeah. and they were actually really good. If you actually, they worked, they worked well with each other. Yeah. This, I don't know what they were smoking in R and D, but these are some trash commanders. So I'm looking at this planeswalker, Tavesh Zat, Doom of Fools. You know what? You gotta be a fool to play this card. <laughs> it is a five drop commander. It's black and four. The plus two ability says you create. Two zero one thralls. Okay. Okay, whatever. The second ability says uh, it's a plus one. It says if you sack a creature, you draw a card. But if you, you can sack a creature or a planeswalker, you draw a card. If the creature you sacrifice would happen to be a planes, uh, happen to be your commander, you draw two. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Garbage. Why would I want to do this? Okay. So, okay, whatever. Now my commander costs more. The minus 10, mind you, if the loyalty is four. Yeah. <laughs> the minus 10, gain control of all commanders, put all commanders on a, uh, from the command zone into the battlefield under your control. You will never see 10. You will never see 10 in this lifetime. And if you ever do see 10, your play group is very generous. This is a yeah. horrible. Yeah, this, this one sits inside of a... Uh, attracts a deck or with a with a deck that's going to be able to get the fish out to double the counters or with a doubling season like you got to use a lot to make you got to use a whole <laughs> lot of mustard to make this sandwich taste good I'm sorry this is a trash card I put it like if if, if you have a cold or you know you run fresh out of toilet paper use this get a nice crease in there to get all the extras out but outside of that this card is horrible what you got Ooh, so stepping up joining uh tevish is jessica thrice reborn first of all she got thrice in the name uh-huh. are, we, are we really doing that that's what we're doing we, that's what we're doing okay okay sure uh anyway she costs two and a red she is also a planeswalker uh 
that can also be your commander and also has partner. I don't even want her in my deck, let alone to be my commander. So it, it, this card has a lot of text on it. First of all, she enters the battlefield with loyalty counter for each time you've cast a commander from the command zone this game. So she only gets bigger the more the more things die. That, that's what it sounds like to me. The more time things go back to your command zone, the better she is. Zero, choose target creature. Until your next turn, if that creature would deal combat damage to one of your opponents, it deals triple that damage to that player instead. Eh. Yeah. Eh, okay. I, I, I can do better. Uh... Okay, sure. Uh, minus X. Jessica Thrice Reborn deals X damage to each of up to three targets. <sighs> so that means you probably have to kill her a lot just to, uh, you know. Make her even viable. Make her make her viable. So she, I, I understand Jessica is very popular in the lore uh, starting off a long time ago, but I, I was I was hoping for something different. Uh, you know what? All you got was garbage. But you know what? Let's move, let's move the needle a little bit long. Go for it. I want... To take a look at some of these mythics. <laughs> these mythics are some of the worst ones I've seen in set releases. And I guess they figure, hey, it's Commander. You want to spend a lot of mana to do trivial stuff? No, we don't. Speaking of which, this is called, called Triumph, Triumph's Reckoning. Triumphant it, Reckoning. Tri- sorry, Triumphant Reckoning. It is a nine drop. It's three white and uh, six. It says, return all artifacts, enchantments, planeswalkers, from your graveyard, not all, your graveyard, mm-hmm. to the battlefield. For how much? For nine. You are dead at this point. <laughs> you, if, you, if, you, if you're able to spend nine mana, you should be winning at this point. You should, Yeah, like this is so unnecessary for what it does. And there are cheaper cards out there that do similar, if not the same thing. Like open the vaults. Like, why, especially in white. How, you, unless you're playing like a smother in ties, you're not getting in a nine like that. And I just want to, I just want to be clear. There's been a lot of graveyard hate cards out there printed lately, and I play with this guy, and I never see my graveyard. Every <laughs> deck I play at least runs one graveyard hate. Not to mention if you're playing a blue player and you casting a nine spell, and you expect that it doesn't. Need, I, if they, if it said it can't be countered. If it said it had rebound, if it said it has something along those for nine mana, it should be able to pay my car insurance and rent for one month for nine mana. At least help me switch to Geico. Exactly. Next, I got to go to, uh, you, you You gave us a rare, I'm going to give you an uncommon. This is Essior Wardwing Familiar. Okay. So this is a one blue uh, legendary creature bird. It flies, <coughs> of course, because it's a bird. One three. Uh, spells your opponents cast that target one or more commanders you control cost three more to cast. Okay. So this is this thing that blue does where it's like it taxes you more to actually be able to target things and, and have your effects go through. This is very lackluster for this to be a partner commander. Uh, it, it's, it's a legendary bird, first of all, and it's, it's, that's, that's all it does. It's just saying, no, you can't do that. Or no, you have to pay more. Boring. I'm not gonna play this as a as a partner commander because it, it's uh, it's just it's, it's, just not. it's part of the 99 in a death and taxes deck. And, That's all it is. And I'm also pointing out this card because I don't know if it's gonna make a return or if we're gonna see any uh, see it in the flavor text as a future cards. But this is obviously a Strixhaven card. This this owls from Strixhaven. Okay. I, I, I believe you. I don't even know what Strixhaven is, but you know what? I believe you. That's that's the that's the wizarding set. Yeah, okay. We're not gonna call it the Harry Potter set. It's, it's the Wizarding set. So I'm gonna pass it off to you because I'm done talking about this this bird. You're horrible, Harry. <laughs> Do it one more time. Now, when I saw this card, I was about to start cussing. It's called the Root Re- Root Weaver Druid, but I call it How Dare You. <laughs> it says target opponents when you cast. It's a three drop. Target opponents go search for tree lands. They give you each opponent gives you one. They put they you put that onto the battlefield and they put the rest of theirs on the battlefield. So let me get this straight. That's that's what the card does. That's what it does. Garbage. I'm trash. I'm telling you, man. You see, say I had a mild stroke. I didn't think he was. I didn't think. I didn't even think he was gonna come back for that one. I was about to start shaking him. I know y'all thought the camera might have froze, but no, this man was having a mild stroke. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. If you're playing a hug deck, yeah, I can see where you're going with this, but this is stupid. 
So it's like uh, it's like tempted tempted discovery. Temp- it is a backwards tilt with discovery. Yeah, okay. Because it's like here, go search for three basic land cards. I'll take one from you. No. You can have the rest. No. No. <laughs> no. no. Why would? No. <laughs> And, and and no, just just no. Uh, so moving on to the next green card. This is Numa Joraga Chieftain. This is an elf warrior, two and a green. Also a partner commander. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay XX. When you do, distribute X11 counters among any number of target elves. <sighs> Do do elves really need to get big? They don't. They really don't. Elves just need to swarm the board, right? That's all they do. They wolf pack you. Yeah. And the fact that this is making me pay X, not just X one time, it's making me pay two X, X. X two times. And I only get to distribute that that X, one X. You, you, people know how double X works, right? I don't feel like explaining this. Please look it up. It's, it's one of those old things that you saw in, in, in Magic that just always perplexed me. But basically, you pay it twice, but you only get the benefit of it once. once. It's making me hot right now. Yeah. So, um, garbage. Get in there. Hop like, in the trash. Like I said, when you see these cards, and if you happen to open them, string them together. And when you run out of toilet paper, this is your next best set. But again, watch out for the paper cuts. I don't know. Uh, Christmas season is coming up. Maybe you can make them ornamental and decorate them on your Christmas tree. Maybe you can give them to your enemies, people that you really don't like. Or instead of coal, you could just put these into people's stockings. Exactly. You know what? I don't like you this year. Take one of these. Okay. Up next, this is another mythic. <sighs> Profane transfusion. You got a lot of you opened up. You actually did open up a few tr- profane cards, didn't you? All those, all the ones I opened were trash. <laughs> I was like, I'm not paying them nine man to do this. <laughs> when no, get out of my face with this. But uh, okay, you target two target players, uh, and they exchange life totals. You create an XX colorless horror artifact where X is the difference between their life totals. Mm-hmm. I got to pay nine man for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Most of our games are pretty close. Like, we try to keep everybody around the same life totals. Mm-hmm. So, you tell telling me I'm going to pay nine better to create, I don't know, at most a 10 10, maybe a 15 15. Not a bunch of little ones, one that can be easily removed with targeted removal for nine mana. Yo, get out of here with that. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. We talked about this in therapy. You gotta let stuff go. I think there's a call card, uh, Phyrexian Rebirth, uh, for six mana, four and two white. Destroy all creatures. Then you create a token with uh, X power toughness based on the number of creatures destroyed this way. That's a lot better than this. Yeah, that's a lot better than this. <laughs> what you got over there? Last but not least, step up to the plate. Take this butt whooping. Livio Oath Sworn Sentinel. Okay, first of all, that's way too much to say. Yeah, and uh, your name, you, you want to sound fly, I know, but your name is almost there, but didn't quite make it. You, you got to know that in any adventure, you are a side character. Okay, <laughs> okay, Livio, you will never be a main. How you made it to a legendary status, I have no clue. Mm-hmm. But anyway, and the fact that this is a rare. Oh, like, God. I, I said the same thing. The <laughs> fact that these are mythics. <laughs> But you know what? I'm not on R and D, but they still need to be drug tested. But what what about this? Dude? What about this uh, person? Is horrible. So there's two drop, one in a white. So two two human knight. Okay. You can pay one in a white. Choose another target creature. Its controller may exile it with an Aegis counter on it. Pay two in a white and tap Livio. Return all exile creatures with Aegis Aegis counters. On them onto the battlefield under their owner's control. That is the slowest flicker effect I've ever seen in my life. My God, I've oh, I've oh. seen I've seen butter melt faster than this. Oh, like oh my God, like that's you paying a lot, and if you try to get rid of someone else's creature, it says it's a may. it's a may ability. <laughs> may I can see if you say exile, then it comes under your control when you do your thing, or even you know come back under their control, but you just get rid of it for a period of time until he leaves. May hey, I target that? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, you, you sure? <laughs> nah, I'm, yeah, I'm cool. I'm good. I, I, I'm gonna keep it there. Oh, okay. Never mind. 
eternal sadness. <laughs> <laughs> so that, those were our picks. There, there's there's probably a few more, a lot more. Let us know some of the cards that from this set that you was like, oh man. Huh, I guess I know what I can scoop up my dog's boo boo with. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to pick up some of these cards for whatever reason that we've listed out there throughout this episode, be sure to do so from CCG Player using our affiliate affiliate link below in the description. Exactly. Some of these cards you can get for dirt cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody want them. But at the same time, you know what? You can help out your local LGS, get some rid of some of their trash. Or, you know, some of the good cars that you actually want, go to the affiliate link at the bottom. You'll be helping out your local LGS. And you also be helping out our channel at the same time. You know, it's tis the season, tis, tis the season to give, and we would love for you to uh, show your generosity. That's right. So please like please subscribe also hit the notification bell every time that we release another deck tech another command center you will know about it uh anything that comes up on the channel so be sure to uh like we said like and subscribe and also tell people about us and tell, tell somebody to go tell somebody to tell somebody yeah but until next time throw this stuff away <laughs> <laughs> burn it salt the earth so it can't grow no more Ooh. peace y'all <laughs>